I haven't talked to a lot of Marvel directors because it's such a specific experience and they make movies in such a unique way. Nia DaCosta, the director and co-writer of The Marvels, says she sought advice from other Marvel directors, as well as her friend Tessa Thompson, before making the film that stars Brie Larson, Amon Vellani, and Tiana Paris. You cannot protect your people. While speaking with The Hollywood Reporter, DaCosta revealed just which Marvel filmmakers she spoke to ahead of tackling the big studio project and shed some light on the guidance they gave her. Ryan, Coogler, Chloe Jaw, Destin Cratton and I talked a lot. Um, James Gunn was really helpful. He had some really amazing advice. What was great about James that he kind of really contextualized what it was we were doing and, and how hard it was and how, um, and sort of uh, reframing the way you think about it, which is really nice. Yeah, they're all they're all amazing people, so it was really great to be able to talk to them. But the first person she called after landing the gig was her friend and frequent collaborator Tessa Thompson, who plays Valkyrie in the MCU. For Tessa, you know, since she's an actor and it's so different from what I'm doing, but I wanted to know all the tea about Kevin Feige. I was like, is he the worst? Like, is he gonna torture me for, you know, however long this movie is? And she was just like, he's a really great guy. He's really lovely and he really cares. So that was really reassuring um, to know. As for working with her three stars on the film, DaCosta says the moment they all came together was one of the best on set. Because their they, their relationships individually are so specific, like Monica and Carol seeing each other from the first time for the first time in a long time is huge. And then uh, Kamala and Carol meeting is huge because Kamala idolizes her. And then the three of them together, there's just so much happening. But when it happens in the movie, um, they have to immediately start fighting <laughs> to like, yeah. You know, so it's um, it's pretty special and it was really fun to be able to be a part of creating that. DaCosta also explained how Villani's Marvel fandom was an asset to the film. She's an incredibly professional actress so like you know she knew her line, she was ready to go, she was she's smart, she's creative, she's funny, she has great ad libs, she has great suggestions, she's just the best. Um, at the same time when Sam Jackson came to set for the first time she hid behind me <laughs> and I was like you know like really and I thought because I'd spent so much time with her being this like really dynamic mature young woman I thought she was joking but she genuinely was like like stressed out to meet him and it was um it's it was really lovely to see that um because that enthusiasm is so um so infectious and it like reminds us all while we're here. The Marvels is now playing in theaters for more on the movie go to THR.com this is the Hollywood Reporter News.